for this meeting tonight, Father God. And Lord, we, we pray, Lord God, that you would open every ear and every heart tonight and every eye that we might see and hear, Lord, and that our hearts might perceive, Father, the goodness of God. Teach us, Holy Spirit, how to sit and wait upon you, to trust in you with all our hearts, and lead not unto our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all our ways, that you direct our path. So, Father, tonight we open up with a prayer, God. We pray for this town, this city of Papaville, Mississippi, Lord God. I ask you, Lord God, that you would pour out, Lord God, your grace and your mercy, Father. For you said your mercy is renewed every morning, Lord God. Father, for you do not take delight in the wicked perishing, Father, but that they would turn from their sin and repent and come into righteousness, Lord, that you might restore and heal them, Father God. So, Lord, I pray for the compassion tonight to reach out to this town and to this people, God. I ask you, Father God, that as the preaching of Jonah, Lord God, Nineveh repented, Father. And, Lord, so you are greater than Jonah, Father. So tonight, Lord, would you stretch your hand out towards this city, Father God? And shall we not call these things that aren't as it is? Shall we not call the hearts, the souls, and the minds, and the body of the women... I mean the men, the women and children, that they might come in, 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 that they might come into Christ. Lord, you said no one can come unto you unless the Father draw them. Father, will you not draw tonight? Father, I'm not saying, Father, draw them to this tent, but draw them to yourself, Lord God. Draw them to your Son. For this is the purpose of the Son of Man came. To seek in the same that which is lost, Lord. Will you not, Father, by your divine attributes, Lord, and your will, will you not stretch out your right hand towards the city tonight, God? And begin, Lord God, to give old men's dreams and visions, and young men's dreams and visions. The handmaids, oh God, may they not see, Lord, may the Spirit of God just move upon them, Father God. Father, for you said your eye, our eyes have not seen, our ears have not heard, noise and into the heart of men. But you have prepared for them that love you, Lord. And Father, we love you because we love them, Father. You enable us to love them, Lord. And we don't want our loved ones to go to hell, Father. I ask you, Father, would you save these people tonight? Will you bring them to yourself, Jesus? Will you, Holy Spirit, begin to move upon the face of the deep of this darkness, Lord? Yes. As you once moved in the days of old, God. As the Spirit of God moves upon the face of the deep. Oh, God, and you spoke and you said, let there be light. Shall it not be light tonight, God? Shall it not, if you speak, God, and say, let light in the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ shine in their hearts in the name of the Lord of hosts. Father, we lift them up to you today. We lift them up to you today, Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. We had a great, uh, great time last night. And uh, God did a miracle. He was in this tent last night. I remember uh, right when me and Danny got finished setting it up and Sal pulled into the driveway there and he had his radio on and they had a severe thunderstorm warning for Popperville and also a tornado warning for Popperville and Sal says Don do you think he says do you think we should continue and without Without a doubt in my heart, I said, we must continue. Amen. I knew it was God. We must continue. Amen. Because little did I know, God was going to intercede that we might continue. And he was going to use me in a shower. I'm not yeah. pointing my finger at me. I'm just pointing at him because he's the one that done it. He just used me to request it. And after I left here, I went, I went over. 
to pass the Sal's house to take a shower, get ready to come back. And I walked through the front room and the weather channel was on and that thing was right over Papaville. It was red as an apple. Yeah. And you know, he didn't eat no apple. Amen. Amen. It was red as an apple and you could see the box, man. It was like we were boxed in. Amen. All four corners, we were hemmed in on every side. Amen. The devil thought he had us. But glory to God. Amen. I, rem I remember passing the, the television, going into the bedroom because uh, Sister Judy and, and Rebecca were sitting on the patio and, and Sister Judy said, Brother Don, when you go in, just have your way because we're going to stay out here until you come back out. So I knew it was my time. Yeah. It was my time. Me and God. Yeah. And I entered into that shower. And I started off with a groaning and an utterance that cannot be uttered. I started off calling out to God in such a way deep as deep calls under deep as the iron sharpens iron at the noise of thy water spouts. They begin to overflow it and out of the deep. <laughs> oh my I just felt that deep again <laughs> the Lord began to say as I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost I begin to see the clouds begin to depart I begin to see a breaking up of a system that was called by man to hit Papaville but God had other plans because he raised up someone to stand in the gap and make up the heads and begin to intercede and as I begin to continually pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, in the, spirit the whole time I'm taking the shower and I have I had to bring myself into remembrance that Elijah was a man like-minded. He prayed and God held the rain up for three and a half years. Jesus, when he prayed, he said unto the waters and the wind, be still. And the wind and the waves stopped. And then I heard the Spirit say in Mark 16, These works that I am doing greater shall you do. Yeah. So I begin to speak to the prince of power of the air. I begin to command that they have no authority, that they will not bring this meeting to a halt because it wasn't my plan, it was his plan. I put my trust in God as I laid it out. And I remember coming out that shower and I passed by the TV and had uh, Margaret or uh, uh, I guess she's on Channel 6 in New Orleans, I guess 7 up here. And when I passed by the TV, she says, the storm has lifted above Papaville. Hallelujah. That's what I said, hallelujah. Woo! I said, thank you, Jesus. See, it only took about... Pastor said, I'm the quick, said I'm the quickest man in the shop we ever seen. So it only took about 10 minutes of really in the seating and believing God in that storm. And you know, when I went to get dressed, I'm going to show you. You know, I, I talk about those, those crocs and all that. I'll be kidding. Don't you know my father came to me with such a, a gentleness of laughter. He said, you know, I took out that one storm with just a blow on my right nostril. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He just kind of like put his finger up against it. And he gave a little snort. And it just blew on out of there. Yeah. You see, because he he's over the, the wind, the waves, and the air. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has gone to all. Amen. And so last night we had a great meeting and my sister's son and her daughter-in-law came. We had a great reunion here tonight. And our last night it was such a blessing to meet Ed and Sabrina. And we are continually praying for them. That God continually do a work in their heart. We have, a, we have a network that we network with of an intercessor group. And the, the sister emailed me and she said, Pastor Don, would you send me each and every name? Because we want to name each and every one of them before the Lord. And all those new converts, we want to pray until Christ is formed in them. That's what the body's got to get going. We can't just say somebody said a sinner's prayer and leave them by the wayside. We got to get in the ditch with them and we got to start picking them up. 
up. We got to start lifting them up before the Lord. We got to pray until we see the fruit of Christ flowing in them to know that they are able now to stand in Him. Glory. My. I'm just blessed to have my wife behind me playing on that guitar. Uh, you know, the Lord told me about my wife. He said she is not an, an ordinary musician. She doesn't play like most musicians play. He said I called her to be a psalmist. A psalmist. And God says as David drove the demons from Saul, so shall she drive principalities out of regions. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, at the strumming of her instrument and the lifting of her voice, because the anointing that God has given her, she shall drive principalities and powers and rulers of darkness out of regions. David drove demons from Saul. She's going to drive demons from regions. And let the peace of God come into that place. And let the restoration of the work of the Spirit, as it was the bomb of Gilead, will begin to flow in places. So I'm blessed to have my wife with me here tonight. And I'm praying that God will let her be with me wherever I am every night. Amen. And so we believe in God. It may sound crazy, but I'm believing God to lay her off from her job. So that she'll just take a step of faith and continue to keep walking. And we'll walk together. Because the Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? And so I'm looking for my wife to be me and her and Jesus. That threefold cord that's not easily broken. That we might enter into dry places and bring living water springs of wells of water and dry places. That we might go into barren lands and begin to sow seed and bring fruitful processes of plants and herds and trees and all different things pertaining to the spirit. To take those places uh, that lie in darkness and to illuminate it with the light of Jesus Christ yeah. and bring good news. Last night, last night we, we I went to a message. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, Holy Living. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to find it so I can say I say it right here. Yeah. yeah. Man, I'm looking, I'm going through this book. That's a contrary to one another that we can't serve God in ourselves and in the spirit. We, we, I went to a message uh, 